Welcome to Youth Inspiration Unleashing Potential. This is a podcast where we spark motivation that kindles the fire of self-belief in the hearts of the young. I'm your host, Jared Thavar, a father of eight incredible kids, a sports coach for the youth, and one of the owners of Tiki Shaved Ice and Ice Cream. I would like for you to join us on this journey, tailored specifically for the youth, students, and all young motivational seekers out there. Our mission to reach those who are wrestling with poor mindset or negative self-image and to transform these challenges into stepping stones for success. Whether you're looking for a daily dose of inspiration, practical tips to improve your mental health, or stories that resonate with your own experiences, Youthful Inspiration Unleashing Potential podcast is your gateway to becoming the best version of yourself. Remember, change begins with a single step. Are you ready to take yours? Hey, welcome to the podcast. My name is Jareth. I have eight kids. I run and drive a Tiki Truck, and I'm also the Director of Franchise Sales for Across the Country. Um, Tiki's has been a great thing for our family, and it supports this program. Um, On to the podcast. Oh, if you like what you're hearing, if you like the podcasts, the the ones we've done so far in this Youth Mindset series, if you're liking them, the next one after this is a bonus, and I actually interview my second daughter, Malia, she's 15, and we talk about how she went from playing boys baseball and being the worst kid on the team to advancing and becoming one of the better kids on the team and then moving into softball and how that whole process affected her mindset. It's I found it very fruitful, even though it's my own daughter, I found myself very captivated about her message and... Um, She does a really great job on explaining what the youth need to do in order to be successful. But today we're talking about thankfulness. And I want to start with a story. There's this ancient Chinese proverb. And the the proverb, now I I may butcher it, but it goes something like this. This man is walking and behind him, all of a sudden, he hears a tiger. And the tiger starts chasing him. So obviously he starts running for his life. And he's running and he's running. The tiger's chasing him. All of a sudden, he comes to a cliff. And he he starts climbing down the cliff. Like he, he has to start climbing down the cliff. So now he's looking up. And above him, above him, there's this tiger licking his lips, ready to devour him. And so he's climbing down the mountain, climbing down the cliff, climbing down the side of the, the cliff. And then when he gets a, a little ways down, he looks below him. And at the bottom of the cliff is... Another tiger waiting, licking his lips, ready to devour him. And he stops. And then right there in front of his face on the cliff, sticking, sitting on a ledge, is a strawberry plant. And he picks the strawberry and he eats it. And he enjoys it. The, the moral of the story is we can't let the tigers of our past and the tigers of our future rob us from the fruits and our blessings we have today. You, you want to have a goal for the future? You want to reflect on the past? But you don't want to be consumed by the future or consumed by the past because it will rob you of what you have today. And it's really hard to be thankful when you're always looking forward or always looking backwards. You need to balance it in life. A good practical thing to be thankful is just once a week, stop and just write a thank you note to someone in your life or send them a thank you text to someone in your life that has done something to help you once a week, once a week. It A, will strengthen your relationships with people, but B, it will help you and put you in perspective to be thankful for the people you have in your life. It's real easy for like a a, a, a young person to look at their family situation, to look at their their monetary situation in the household, or and to get really sad or depressed, like I don't have what that other person has. But I'm telling you, you are where you are for a reason, and you have what you have for a reason. And everything that you are today is only going to make you stronger for in the future. And the secret to all this is to take inventory. Write down what you do have. Write down what the blessings you do have in your life. 
and look at them. Because a lot of times we're running around looking left, looking right, when the answer is right in front of us. It's what we're really looking for. So be thankful. Be thankful. From a baseball's perspective, like this travel baseball, we do a lot of travel baseball. I can I can relate it to you like this. Like a travel baseball player can get on the field and something go wrong and they get mad, they throw a helmet, throw a bat, pout, whatever. That is a sign of an ungrateful and an unthankful person. Because somebody had to sacrifice something else for them to be there. Time, money, effort, energy, friendships. Someone had to suffer, had to had to sacrifice so that young person can be out on that field. That young person on the field that is whining, complaining, or pitching a fit because one little thing went wrong in a game is a sign of a person that has never sat down and written on a piece of paper all the things I'm thankful for. And then that person has not really provided any gratitude to other people. Usually thankful people are the ones that give so that they can receive. If you want to be a thankful person, if you want to live a thankful life, you need to give. You can give your time. If you have money, you can give your money. Or you can just give kindness. Or you can give an ear to listen to. Or you can give friendship. There's so many things that you can give that cost nothing that will come back to you a thousandfold. So I encourage you to be thankful. Take inventory. Look at what you do have and enjoy it. And don't let the tigers of the future and the tigers of the past devour you. Live right now. Live today. Enjoy the moment. Thanks for listening to the podcast. I hope you found something useful and that you can put into play today. The next podcast is special. It is actually focused on my daughter, Malia, and she kind of gives her perspective on her mindset, how she got there, how it developed. Really cool. I found myself captivated, so make sure you check that one out. Until next time. Thank you.